Hi everybody, it's Thea and welcome back to Garden Goddess Tarot. I have a very exciting announcement today. I'm so pumped. And it's regarding the Hellenic Oracle. <laughs> so as many of you already know, I created my very own Greek mythology themed Oracle deck because one did not exist that reflected my needs in the Oracle deck department. So I thought, hey, let's just make it. There'll be links to the videos about it down below if you have not seen. Uh, but there is a full 100 card deck of Greek deities as well as a like 56 card expansion pack as well. So <laughs> there'd be many. Um, and, and this deck now has a wonderful new home. <laughs> So a little while ago in a monthly roundup video, I talked about a few tarot bags that I picked up from a wonderful, amazing, beautiful, gorgeous Etsy shop from the UK. The shop's called Crystal Haven UK. She made these gorgeous luxury embroidered tarot bags. This one is, is absolutely stunning. They're silk lined, like this is, it's, it's top notch. Quality, perfecto, with beautiful esoteric themed embroidered covers like these are stunning and I shared them in that roundup video talking about just how wonderful they are and Louise the creator of the bag saw the video I'm like I'm getting all like fangirly now and then reached out and asked if she would be able to collaborate with me on a s design for a bag to go alongside the Hellenic Oracle specifically <laughs> so I'm here today to show you the fruit of that collaborative effort and I'm so excited <laughs> um, and Louise being the angel she is left it up to me to kind of come up with a few design ideas and then we'd work together to see what she was capable of and see what kind of what kind of result could could come out of of this idea and of course I had a million ideas rolling from my head like when I say a million I mean I had a million and I wanted to do the deck justice because that's my baby right so <laughs> As any normal person would do, I sat down with the Hellenic Oracle and I pulled a bunch of cards <laughs> to kind of help me narrow down my focus. So the cards that came out, specifically when I asked the deck about what kind of bag it would like to live in, were Odysseus, Hemera, and the Sphinx. I thought, ooh, okay, 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 okay. Um, so my brain immediately latched onto the Odysseus card. Hermes shows up on it. He's in the background there waving his little caduceus around and this is specifically part of the myth where Odysseus is on Aea with Circe and Circe and Hermes have a little bit of a relationship going on as well. So he's just there in the background kind of guiding and waving his golden caduceus around and I thought well of course one of a design I would love to see most is something that reflects that relationship between me and and Hermes as well as his presence in the deck. So the the first bag that that we came up with that I would love to see <laughs> is a golden caduceus. Look at this, isn't this incredible? Okay, we have a beautiful golden caduceus, gold silk lined bag, and a creamy, a creamy gold string. And on, <laughs> the attention to detail on these bags is absolutely mind boggling. Like, down to the hardware, we've got a little wooden bead and a little brass one. So this just is perfect. This means a lot to me and this bag is uh, so wonderful. The fact that this now exists just tickles me pink. But of course we did not stop there. Getting excited about ideas. I just threw them all at her and said, pick and choose what you will. This is kind of, this is what the deck said. This is kind of my interpretation of those cards. Like, you know, have at it, run with it. In, in regards to the Sphinx card, I thought, why would it not be the most amazing thing to have a sphinx on the bag even just within the Hellenic context but within tarot itself the sphinx is a representation of those four fixed signs of the zodiac right we've got the the man the eagle which is the exalted Scorpio man being Aquarius lion which is Leo and then a bull or cow which is Taurus so the four fixed signs are represented within the energy of the sphinx herself she also embodies riddles tricks feminine power, <laughs> gatekeeping, all of those other, those, those strong, powerful qualities, those, those sure fixed corners of time and space. So, <laughs> so 
so we had to have a sphinx. Here she is, and it's specifically designed after the um, the Greek depictions of the Sphinx as opposed to the Egyptian ones. So there she is in her glory. I love her. Oh my gosh. So she is now there, uh, immortalized forever on, on a deck bag and lined again in a beautiful, tempting, shiny gold. And again, the wooden bead and the little brass bead. Absolutely stunning. Incredible. This, I, I'm so blown away by what the, the embroidery work she does. It's so good. So that's our Sphinx. And the last card was Hemera. And of course this one had me stumped a little bit. Like how do I, how do I represent, represent that? And immediately in the card you can, that struck me the most is you could see these, these bits of ruins kind of in the background of, of the image with, with the daybreak in the background. And just, just that very pastoral and bucolic idealized landscape that is the mythological landscape. Stunning. Amazing. <laughs> so I latched onto those ruins and I thought, okay, what are these? These were pillars at one point. And pillars play a very big symbolic role within, within the tarot as well as life in general, right? They're, they're things that we hold up in high esteem, high regard. Part of the foundational structure of the way we go about our experience in the world. So I thought, well, mythology for me specifically is one of those pillars of understanding when it comes to esoteric thought. So... And, and really, when you think of ancient Greece, pillars is one of the first things that shows up in your mind. So, so we've come up with this design, which is incredible. <laughs> and it's an Ionian column. Very, you know, immediately ancient Greek when you think about it, right? Um, and it's surrounded by a wreath of olives olive leaves so this is a, a tap into the the hemera card specifically with the pillar iconography but it also has that middle pillar <laughs> symbolism as well being a pillar as well as being the mythology being one of the pillars that western western esotericism sort of sits on so i i'm really touched with this one it's beautiful and even even just aesthetically it it goes, they all go so well <laughs> with the deck. And the inside of this one is a gorgeous bronze. It's it's not the gold, it's the, it's the bronze silk and it's just stunning. And we've got a little bronze cord. Oh, this one, it, it just, they feel so nice. It looks so good. So those are my ideas off the cuff. And then Louise in her infinite wisdom said, well, we've got Hemera as well. Why not have a goddess depiction on one of the one of the bags? So this one, full credit goes to Louise for this one. And and she's come up with this gorgeous goddess depiction, who is Hemera, again, a reference to the card that was pulled from the deck. And here she is sort of guiding, guiding the sun across the, the day sky. Helios there as well. So just a gorgeous depiction of goddess energy in general, and specifically it is Hemera, but again, you can throw your own associations on it as you will. Lined with bronze as well, bronze cord, that gorgeous wooden and brass toggle. They're just, they're stunning, they're amazing, and they, they match the deck so incredibly well. And just, just the creation being a reflection of the cards that came out specifically from the deck itself is just so beautiful and magical and everything just kind of came together so easily and so dreamily and I'm just, wow. I just, I feel so humbled by the experience of working with Louise on these bags. The fact that she came to me, you know, with this idea, um, got herself a copy of the deck and expansion and is, is using it and is, is feeling that kind of connection with working with those energies in the same way that I am and it's just it's beautiful and the way that we can connect across the world in, in a collaboration like this is absolutely fantastic. So all of these bags are available now on her Etsy shop um, <laughs> for you to grab if you want. If there's one of these that speaks to you specifically, if you have the Hellenic Oracle and you would love a cozy little home for it to go in as well as any other deck that kind of fits these energies. I know a lot of a lot of you are similar to me and we like to have very intentionally chosen and energetically specific homes bags boxes for our tools to go inside so I, these are just perfect and I, I couldn't have thought of a better way to honor the Hellenic Oracle deck than having these amazing these amazing homes for them so on Louise's Etsy page all of these bags will be listed as well as all of her other designs, which are also amazing. I highly recommend checking them out too. 
third I'm probably still gonna buy that pomegranate one it's so good <laughs> And a note as well, the Hellenic Oracle and its expansion, when you have them two both stacked together in the like 150 card monstrosity that it is, it fits perfectly within these bags. So whether you've got just, just the Hellenic Oracle alone or the Hellenic Oracle with the expansion fits perfectly with room to spare. There's room for crystal in there if you want or any other little witchy bits and bobs that you want to keep alongside it. They're, they're just incredible. They feel so special. The care and love that went into the making and the creation of these on both sides is is palpable. You can feel it. You really can. And I'm I'm just so blown away and absolutely absolutely in love with how they turned out. So thanks a million Louise for reaching out and seeing that video and just being awesome and you know making such incredible very niche <laughs> items in your shop it's just I, I i couldn't be happier with with everything actually i kind of feel like i want a couple cards today why not let's let's do a quick let's do a quick energy update a little reading with with a few cards from the hellenic this is the original one just kind of see see what's up here we got whoa these two popped out Oh, Hestia and the Muses! Look at that. So goddess of the home, the hearth fires, that comfort, that stability, safety, refuge, um, sanctuary, if you will. And the Muses, goddesses of inspiration, that creative urge, that... Where, where are those genius ideas come from? I love it. So just, I think this is a this is a perfect reflection of the collaboration. <laughs> oh, this deck never fails me. I'm telling you. So wonderful. Well, <laughs> I guess that's it for me today. Just a little, a little update. This project's been in the works for about a month now. So seeing it come together, come to fruition, make itself a real, live, tangible thing is just tickled my heart. I love it. And I just love being able to share it with you. So if you've been looking for something like this, then definitely go check it out. Let me know what you think. Which one is your favorite? Which one of the four bags is is, is the one that you like the best? I'm very curious. I'm, I'm very open to, to feedback at the moment. So thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And I will see all of you fine people on my next video.